What is up, guys? It is Mercifies here again, bringing you an Autodesk Inventor video. Uh, Daddy Pa O fifty nine has uh, asked me in a private message to explain the navigation bars and how I can help him, and he's also asked in uh, comments if I could, you know, explain some of the basics. So I'm going to be doing that now. Um, first of all. This, if you guys don't know what he's talking about, the navigation bar. This up here is the navigation bar. Um, this uh, this navigation bar can be set to different patterns, or uh, not patterns, I should say, but different looks. Um, if you go up next to the navigation bar, you will have a little, you know, up arrow and down arrow. If you click the down arrow and it says "cycle through all," is checked. You can keep clicking the up arrow to get different formats of how you want your navigation bar to look. So he might have it set to this on accident and uh, you know doesn't know how to change it. This is how you do it. You basically just make sure it's cycled to all and click the up arrow. Um, you know, again, many different, well not many, but a couple different ways that you can have it most video tutorials will have it set to the default and this is the default so you know uh, that's how you can figure out your navigation bar problem I believe that's what your problem was uh, you said how to uh, delete things as you're doing them there's a couple ways to do that uh, we're gonna make a simple line here is this snap to grid? I don't know if I have this on snap to grid right now, but uh, it's that's not how you do snap to grid anyway. We'll just draw a simple line, okay? And we will done. All right, so we have our simple line. <coughs> this line right here, and this line can be deleted in a couple ways the first way is you left click on it and then you go to your keyboard you will see that not backspace but uh, usually around the same area as insert and home and page up page down there's a button called delete not backspace but you know in the insert area around that little area of the keyboard there's a button called delete click that and your line is gone uh, if you want to undo something, you can either do Control Z, um, or you could hit the arrows up here. This goes back, and this goes forward. Uh, another way to delete this line is you right-click on the line, and then yours might look different from this because this is 2012. But you can scroll down to delete, and left-click to delete it. Um, some other basics. Uh, let's see. Up at sketch. Hmm. What are some other? Oh yes, to extrude stuff. Let's go ahead and make a circle. We'll just extrude a circle. Okay. Oh yeah. There's another thing I should probably teach. Uh, if you want to change from this to the pointer, you can either hit the escape button or you can right click and do done, and you'll be fine. Um, to extrude you have a couple options you can either hit the E button and you will be sent to the extrusion 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 extru extrusion page um, or you can go to model and click extrude once in here you can uh, verify how long you want it to be by going with the arrow and moving it back or forward forward or backwards uh, you can also change the dimension custom by doing by typing it in and then hitting enter and if you're not hitting enter we'll go back you can hit the check mark for ok um, let's see some more basics uh, I think that's covered most of the basics if you have any questions please do ask um, 
and I'll be sure to get to those. Uh, there might be one more thing. Um, this is it. Yeah, is it it? I'm still trying to figure out uh, 2012 because I am used to 2011, so not quite used to 2012 that much. I haven't been doing too many uh, projects in it, but I think that's basically everything we need. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped. If you have any more questions, please do ask, and I will see if my knowledge can help you. Um, one off the top of my head which isn't really basic but it's some material that I might not have gone over in other tutorials is the fillet tool if you want to use the fillet tool you can either go to model then go down to fillet or you can hit the F key once you have done that you will get um, something that looks like this and you know it's kind of a little it's uh, for some people that's you know some pretty crazy information. There are a couple <coughs> things you can do. Edge fillet, face fillet, full round fillet. Those are more complicated, but if we're just going to go over the basic fillet. So the basic fillet is this. The radius is how much you want this line to curve. So we're going to set the radius to 0.25. Does that sound pretty good? No, that's way too much. And we'll back up a second there. Oh, oh crap. All right, let's just extrude that. And we'll go back to our fillet. And we'll go back to 0 0.05. Okay. And you can select both of those, hit apply. And then you have your circle now has rounded edges. So it uh, makes it not as... Um, hard as it was before <laughs> not as pointy and whatnot uh, that's about it that I can figure out of the basics if you have any more questions please ask and until next time take care